Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz. On this season of The Amazing Race, we actually had two local teams who both made it nearly to the end of the competition. And of course, Dan and Jordan took it all. Now this morning we're setting a road show record with the amount of people we can fit on the couch. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> Michael, and Louie are all with us. <laughs> it's like a family reunion. Yeah, I feel so yeah, honest. It really is. It looks especially cozy over there. <laughs> so uh, where we're are we? In the back of a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. The sound, the sound guy next right? to you. Yes. <laughs> so what was it like, I guess, uh, being you know on this show, traveling all over the, the world, and four guys from Rhode Island? I mean, you had a lot to talk about, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, it was a great time. But, you know, we, we had um, somebody... One of the girls, Sean, um, the, the black sisters, mm -hmm. came up to us. The black sisters, the black friends, uh, came up to us, and, and she goes, "Louis, she goes, you know, there's another team from Rhode Island here," and I'm like. Who? And she pointed to Dan Because I probably Jordan. know them. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Dan, Dan and Jordan. And I'm like, so I'm like, Dan, come over here. Because I, yeah. you talking to him. Hey, Dan, come over here. He goes, oh. I go, where are you from? And he says, Rhode Island. I go, no, where are you from? And he said, Barrington, Rhode Island. I go, I'm from Bristol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Bristol, Warwick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is really cool. So did you guys, was there any tension even, I mean, after the initial meet and greet of, uh, okay, we're all from Rhode Island, was there, was there tension then? No, no. We no. got along so great. I mean, we hung out, we laughed, we had, you know, we were all missing Caserta's pizza, we were all missing a few, <laughs> a few little local Dells, we were all missing our, our, our local things, but we got along so well, and it was great. You know, we're in Argentina, we're just hanging out, and we are immediately plotted against a couple other teams. We're like, yeah, we yeah. don't like them too much. They're rubbing mm. us the wrong way. Joe! Well, we bonded. <laughs> <laughs> so we bonded. We bonded. <laughs> and then one night we're in a tent. It was the funniest story after the pit stop in Argentina. We laughed. We had four of us, the four losing teams that for that leg of the race had to be in a tent. And the four winning the teams had individual four. tents. The bottom four. <laughs> we laughed till about two in the morning. Here we are, physically exhausted. We're joking and laughing. Yeah. The other people in the tent must be going, what are they doing? Like, well, well, it was one of the exactly. most memorable moments of, of the race. I know. Like, we we were all saying, you know, yeah. we got to get this. It was yeah. freezing. Yeah. So Everybody hilarious. snuggled up in their sleeping bags. Like, yeah. Me and Mike, my, mine, yeah. Mine, yeah. You know, mine wouldn't go past my waist because yeah. it, it wouldn't fit. Mike came up to his waist. Mike passed out. Yeah, it was real sleeping. memorable yeah. sleeping yeah. in tents in 30 degree yeah. weather. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Daniel didn't like it too much. He was in the tent. Yeah. He was complaining. We kind of calm him down. Yeah. Yeah. This is embarrassing. We're going to get you calm down. Because we stayed in like the hotel. We this we stayed in the hotel Pratt, which is really bad, right? Nasty. And then, then the tents, I go, Dan, it's going to get better. I promise yes. it's going to get better. He was ready to pack up. He's like, yeah, I'm ready. It was about to happen. And you know, it, it, it was a tough start. Hotel yeah. Coup Race was so nice, yeah, though. Right in between. That yeah, was good. Nice yeah. and relaxing. Can you believe, like, four guys are from Rhode Island going, oh, yeah, Hotel Coup Race. Yeah. 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 I think we know we're talking about. Kid, poor kid from Providence. Oh, when I was in the Seychelles, I'm like, Right. Say chilies. Yeah, seriously, better at it. No, what they didn't show actually is that the you know beginning of the race we formed an alliance with alliance. The, you know Mike We're, and Louie and then Sean and Monique. We called ourselves the East ECA. Coast alliance. Yeah, right. East Coast, East Coast alliance. alliance. And so, we had you know, to we lose them at one point because they didn't learn how to drive a stick shift till the yeah. Sunday before we left for the race. <laughs> and, so, and I had to leave because the yeah, Patriots yeah, game was the, on. He wasn't really taking too much of the stick shift series. I'm like, can you watch the race? They drive stick shifts, and sometimes they're on the wrong side of the road. Right. Hey, we yeah. survived, right? But at one point, I get out, and I actually have to pull the car up the hill for him, and the yeah. cameramen are going, you just helped another team. I go, yeah, they're from Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> so did it surprise you that these guys won, or did you think they, they could take it? Well, you know what? We said this at the Final Four. Any one of those teams, every, everyone's competitive. Yeah. Everyone was competitive. Everyone had their own edge. We, we got to Singapore, the Final Four. We looked at each other. We said, we're all competitive, we're equally competitive, we're happy, and we'd all be happy if the other teams won. It was really, we had, we, we had so much yeah. fun in that airport in Singapore, afraid we were going to get arrested for chewing gum or something, maybe get caned, but Swear. we had a time yeah. of our lives, Swear. and we were happy, and I, I never underestimated these guys. When they, the start of that race, when they, Phil put that arm down and said go, they oh took off it. like rockets, we're like, what? They were like rabbits. Yeah. They got like, back, like, well, they, they kept us, they kept us in the hotel for three straight days. Yeah. Ordering off the same room service menu or whatever. The yeah. second they said go, I'm like, yes. yes. We're out of here. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do is we're going to let you guys just sit and chat and mingle. Yeah. 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 We're going to shut uh, up over here. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh, well, one question. And, uh, <laughs> Trust me, you couldn't understand. Sometimes we have to ask like 10 questions to get one answer. Yeah. Yeah. This is a tree. Yeah. 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 Take a okay. break. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in and joining awesome. us. Thanks, you're welcome. And of you're course, welcome. you know, you, you guys made us really proud that you're from Rhode Island. Thank so. you. Thank hey, Courtney. You. Uh, hey guys, can I borrow some money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, we're going to 
to make a few transactions over here while you take it over in the New England Forget Tech Center. It is a party in studio and on the live blog. We have so many fans of all four of you fellas here, and they're really glad to see you all here on the road show this morning. They're saying, awesome TV, and it's too cool, so we're glad we could do that for you. But we're asking questions about uh, if you think the right winners won this morning for the race. And uh, Lisa says, I think the winners who did should have won. They won it, so they deserved it. And Sue said, love Louie and Mike. They should have won. And Aaron S. says, I was rooting for the detectives. They were funny, worked really well together, but I am happy for Dan and Jordan, though. Here's our poll right underneath the live blog on foxprovidence.com. Who do you think should have won the amazing race? A, Brent and Katie, B, Jet and Cord, C, Dan and Jordan, or D, Louie and Michael. And if you guys are on Facebook this morning, maybe checking out your status updates in your inbox, you can weigh in here as well. And Brian Bowden says, Dan and Jordan really appreciated the race, so I think the right team won. Gene Sadler said, exactly the team that did. And Erin um, Scorpio said she's glad the local boys won. She was, you know, rooting for everyone, but is really glad that Rhode Island was represented in a good light. And I think that is really awesome, too. So we're glad everyone's so happy to see you guys here. But we'll see what the Roadshow official uh, poll results are in about a half hour. So now we're going to head back into the kitchen. Lily.